This past week, we spoke with Carrie List, who's the former CEO and president of FP Canada, and we talked about financial planning. What do you know about financial planning? And are you thinking about all the things you need to think about when you make your wealth decisions? Make Better Wealth Decisions, a podcast that explores how financial advisors' blind spots can harm your investments. I'm your host, John DeGuy, a portfolio manager with Design Securities in Toronto. In this podcast, we'll provide advice on how you can achieve better outcomes by maximizing investments and minimizing taxes. Let's put our thinking caps on as we consciously decide to get smarter about our money. The, the topic of financial planning is one that is near and dear to my heart. I've been an active volunteer in the financial planning community for pretty much the entire millennium, so going back almost a quarter century. And it's been an interesting journey because a lot of people have some pretty strong opinions about what financial planning is, and they don't realize exactly what it is and what it is not, frankly. Most people, when you ask them, what is a financial planner, will say something like, well, that's a person who's got a license to sell mutual funds. I was working with consultants and pollsters who were asking questions within the industry, and they would actually do that. They would use the terms synonymously that a, a, a financial planner was a person who uh, has a license to sell mutual funds. That's simply not true. These are totally separate things. In Canada, the three main things that you can sell if, if you're a licensed as a financial advisor are securities, mutual funds, and insurance. And those are licensed to sell products. And that's one thing. And then you can be a financial planner, which is the ability to do comprehensive work in solving financial problems on the other. They need not intersect at all, which is to say there are a number of people in Canada who are fee-only financial planners who do financial planning for a fee and who do not have any license to sell any product. There are people who are licensed to sell products, but who are not uh, financial planners at all. They have no background in financial planning. Ideally, what you would probably want is someone who is a a licensed representative who is also a CFP so that you could do in a one-stop shop approach, take care of whatever investing uh, situations that might arise, but also the financial planning situations. A lot of people don't realize that uh, investing and financial planning are, are quite different things. And in fact, financial planning encompasses a number of things. Investing is one of them, but it's just one. It also encompasses insurance and tax planning. And the entire exercise is one which is undertaken where the people that are getting the advice can be confident that the person giving the advice will look at everything holistically, will try to integrate the taxes and the estate and the investing and, and family dynamics. And if you're a business owner, whether or not you should uh, have a holding company and whether you should do an estate freeze when your account goes, uh, when your business gets to a certain size and you have siblings and whether you should have key person insurance and whether or not you should be investing money into an RSP or a TFSA. There's a series of questions, some of which are investment related, but many of which are simply questions of how do we organize our financial affairs, which is another way of saying make better wealth decisions in a way that will help us to optimize our future, give us the best chance of success down the road, and also in a way that is consistent with our values, in a way that is consistent with our, our lifestyle and our circumstances. So you obviously can't save more money than you're making. So you need to have a, a, a saving pattern that is consistent with your values, but also with your income, making sure that you take care of uh, anyone who is a dependent, doing whatever it is you need to do to get to where you want to go uh, so that you can make better decisions by planning out your future and mapping out alternatives so that what you do is in fact best for you. John DeGuy is a portfolio manager with Design Securities in Toronto. The views expressed in this program are not to be construed as specific advice. It is recommended that you consult a qualified advisor before taking action. His books, The Professional Financial Advisor 4, Stand Up to the Financial Services Industry and Bullshift are available through Amazon and in bookstores throughout Canada. You can reach John at 647-STAND-UP. That's 647 647- 782-6387 or at jdegui at designedsecurities.ca.